Hello, renter retirees. Sam Hack here with Renter Retirement. And today we're going to have a little chat about the live in flip strategy in real estate investing. You might already be familiar with the regular house flipping strategy from shows on HGTV or YouTube, but the live in flip is a much more personal experience. You don't see celebrity house flippers living in their house flips when they're renovating it, do you? The live-in flip strategy can be extremely powerful, but also comes with some headaches. I touch on this strategy a little bit in this real estate tax benefits video here, but let's run through the basics of the live-in flip strategy and see if it's right for you. The main reason we'd want to use the live-in flip strategy is to save on capital gains taxes. If the rules are followed correctly, single people can sell their home for up to $250,000 above what they bought it for and pay no capital gains. And married couples can do the same thing for up to $500,000 in tax-free gains. So how is the live-in flip strategy different from a regular house flip? Well, to start, you're living in a construction zone, so the property is always going to be a little bit messy. If it's important to you to have a super quiet and clean space, this strategy is probably not the best for you. Next, unlike a regular house flip, you can only do a live-in flip once every two years and receive the full tax benefits. A little background on this, Congress passed the Taxpayer Relief Act in 1997, which allowed homeowners to sell their primary residences without paying any capital gains taxes as long as they met certain conditions. These conditions included the property must be a primary residence and you must own the home yourself and live in it for two of the previous five years. For the live-in flip, our goal is to create as much forced appreciation in the home via renovations as possible, because if we follow the rules, all that appreciation will be tax-free at the end of the two years. The live-in flip is also different from the regular flip because you save money when you do it yourself. Unlike a traditional house flip, you won't have to drive to that property and waste time and gas getting there. You wake up and you're inside your investment. Now that's efficient. Also, if you're doing a lot of the work yourself, you can save on labor costs. Lastly, because you're using the live-in flip as your personal housing, there's no carrying cost associated with owning it like you would with a traditional flip, which would be vacant during the project. You have to pay for housing somewhere anyway, right? Let's touch on financing. So unlike the traditional house flip, you can actually get conventional loans to finance the property because it's your primary residence. This means lower down payments and lower interest rates for the live-in flip. A few tips for the live-in flip strategy. First, it's best to do the renovations in parts so you can have some space in your home that's clean and that you can relax in. Don't take on a complete renovation project that includes gutting the entire house because remember, you have to live here. Second, a live-in flip can be emotionally conflicting as you'll have the urge to create your dream home, but you must stick to the plan of appealing to the market of new owners, not your personal tastes. That's it for today's strategy video on the live-in flip. Do you think you could pull off this strategy? Are the tax benefits worth it to you? Let me know in the comments below. Please remember to like and subscribe. And if you'd like to get started in real estate today, click the link in the description below to set up a call with one of our investment counselors and we'll get you off to the races. And don't forget to follow all of our social media accounts or my personal accounts at Sam H Real Estate. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next week.